今日のメッセージの題は、クリストを信頼するとありますね。And today's message is trust in Christ. And we, we need to rely on Jesus and trust in Him for all things. すべてのことにあては、たしては、シエスを信頼して進むべきですね。シエスの恵みと愛は素晴らしいです。Jesus' grace and His love are just very, very wonderful. And we're going to look at this letter that was written by the Apostle Paul in 61 or 62 AD. この使徒ポールによってできた手紙ですけれども、これは多分、以前61年か62年に書かれたものです。その書物に入る前に、手紙に入る前に、その背景のことも少し分かち合いたいと思います。興味を持つ方もいらっしゃるかもしれません。So I want to go into the background a little bit of that time before we go into the letter itself, and maybe some people will be interested in that.、Uh, I found this map, この地図を見つけましたね。これはもうローマ帝国と漢王朝の広さを比較する地図ですね。So this map compares the size of the Roman Empire and the Han Dynasty of China. この帝国、2つの帝国は同じ時代のものです。And these kingdoms, or these、uh, empires, are the same time period. So in the West, we have the Roman Empire. もう西側の方では、ローマ帝国の力があって。And then in the East, we have the power of the Han Dynasty, the rule of the Han Dynasty.、Uh, 東の方では、漢王朝、uh, 力を得ています。So, this is interesting. Did you know that there was trade between the two empires? No, no. Now, there wasn't direct trade between the two, but through many hands and intermediaries, goods were passed between these two empires, so there was, in fact, a trade activity going on between them. From the Han Dynasty in the east to the west, Chinese silk moved. So, Chugoku no Shirukwa, so no Kan Ocho no Hokara. ローマ帝国まで売れていました。And from the Roman Empire going east, we had gold and silver coins, jewels and Roman glass. そしてローマ帝国から東へ振りに出したものは、その金と銀のコイン、宝石、グラス製品もありました。また、もう、両側の方から、もう、他のものもたくさん売れていたと思います。I think in both directions there was a lot of other things being、uh, traded as well. So, how did this work? So, what do you have to do with this? I'm going to ask you about the Silk Road. I think you've all probably heard of the Silk Road. And the Roman Empire and the Han Dynasty had several things in common,、uh, actually,、uh, besides just being about the same size、uh, in extent. Roman Takeoku and Kan Ocho were. もうその広さは同じぐらいということだけじゃなくて、他にもいろいろ共通点のことがありました。両方の帝国は泥を作ることを大事にしていて、貿易を盛んにしようと思っていました。Both empires、uh, thought road building was very important and they both tried to develop the prosperity of trade very widely. 半王朝の方では、もう以前からあったいろいろルートを結んで、正式にシルクロードを設立しました。The Han Dynasty, from it, they, they、uh, tied together a lot of routes that were already there, and they created sort of formally the Silk Road system of shipping. そしてローマ帝国は、帝国以外の特に道路を作ることはあまりなかったけれども、ローマ帝国の中で優れた素晴らしい道路をたくさん建設しました。And in the Roman Empire, 
Uh, they didn't really reach out and build roads to other places beyond the empire much, but within the empire, uh, they built really wonderful, uh, excellent roads so that things could move very quickly back and forth. Within the Roman Empire, both goods and people could travel very quickly from one end to the other. I think when you think of the Silk Road, you always think of the land route. And that's shown in red on this map. But there's also a blue route over the sea. A sea route also existed. So no Likudo no Michi Igai niwa Hoku niwa so no Kaido no Michi mo arimashita. Iroiro fune de boeki no mono wa toi tokuro mare hakobarete imashita. And they move goods uh, to very distant places over the sea. So no Kaido no Michi o tadote so no Shiesu no deshi mata shito no tomosu wa endo made ikimashita. And over that sea route, the Apostle Thomas, disciple of Jesus, uh, traveled to India. So, kore wa mo Indo ni aru sei Thomas kyokai, shiro marabar kyokai to imas kiri de mo Indo no pariyoshi ni arimas. So, this church is Saint Thomas Cyril Malabar Church, and it's in Palayur, India. This church was founded in 52 A.D. This is only about 20 years after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, and Thomas is already starting a church in India. And we have really good uh, records in the West, in the Roman Empire, about the spread of the gospel. Fuki no hirogari wa bo Roman tekoku no nake nishi no ho de wa kichinto shita kiroku taksan arimas. Especially in the Bible, toku ni shinyak seishu ni kichinto shita kiroku ga arimas ne. But in the East, we don't have such good records. The mohigashi no ho de wa sono kichinto shita kiroku wa arimasen. But we don't really have those records in the East, and we don't have any record, for example, of the details of Thomas's travels, you know, for evangelism. So the onaji shodai kyokai no jidai ni chugoku made. So we can imagine that the gospel probably traveled all the way to China in that very early age of the church, but there isn't any real solid evidence of that. There's just a few things to tell us. But we do know that the gospel was widely spread in China by the 7th century. Uh, so this is what they call the Nestorian steel, Stella, uh, Nestorian monument sometimes we say. And this records the activities of Nestorian Christians in China from 635 to 781 AD and how they spread the gospel very widely in China and there were many churches. Kono kohi ni sona Nestoria ha no Christian tachi wa keikyo to iwarete iru grupu wa seideki 635 nen kara 381 nen made no katsudo de uh, <laughs> it's hard to say that big mouth soul, so we'll use the shorter version in Japanese, maybe. Uh, 
Now, the Nestorians were active in China for another several hundred years after that, but this monument records their activities up to that time. So, Nestoria ha no Christian tachi wa mo sono ato su hyaku nin, sono katsuru ga tsuzuki mashite kiri du mo, sono chanto shita kiroku wa kono stero wa 781 ni dekte tate rare ta yo desu. So, Unfortunately, the Nestorian effort ended in persecution uh, at a later date. No chini sono Nestoria ha no Christian no kyo kai wa hakugai no nake ni horobo sarit mashita. This monument was found at the Chonggrin Temple in Chang'an, China, currently called the Jian in modern China. Uh, so it was dug up there by people searching. And so it's very solid evidence from that period. So no jidai no tashka dekta shoko to naru no desu ne. So it was chouan, shian, no su seiji no keirai de hakutsu sareta kohi desu ne. Su seiji wa so seiji to chigao desu ne. Hatsan kiyotsuke nai to dame desu ne. You know, take your desai. Ja, kyo no manabi wa, sono nestoria ha no koto de wa arimasen, mata endo chugoku no katsudo de wa arimasen. But today's study is not really about the, the effort in China or India, uh, but we're going to look at Paul's work for a moment. Kono shito Paulu wa, mo senkyo roko wa ikutsu ga atte, dai ni no senkyo roko no tabi de, Filippi to yu machi made ikimashita. On his second missionary journey, Paul went to this town of Philippi, and he began his activities there. And we're going to read about him going to uh, Philippi for just a moment. Why did he go to that place in these things? Let's take a short look at the book of Acts. Uh, Shito no hataraki no mono choto taki seiku shite mitte, dou shite Paulo wa sono machi ni itte ka no setsume ka kakarete imasu. This is Acts 16.9. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. So Paul is actually in the place called Troas at the time, which is on the uh, western coast of Turkey, in modern Turkey. Paul wa toji wa Torasu toyu machi de tomate imasta. Gendai no kuni nara Turku no nishikai ga no ho ni arimashita. And he's there, and he's staying there, and maybe doing some activities. So can he tomate taizai shite, skoto iroiro katsudo shite ita kamoshiri masen kiri demo, aru yo sono yo maburoshi o mimashita. Tsugi no asa, tsugu Macedonia ni shupatsu shimashita. And the next morning, after Paul saw this vision, he very quickly, you know, headed for Macedonia. Well, Macedonia is the northern part of Greece. Some people don't know that name so much anymore, but Macedonia is the northern part of Greece. Macedonia toyu tokoro wa Grisha no hokubu ni arimasu ne. Amari shirarita inai shitashi namai de wa nai kamose ni maze ni Macedonia shu de mo soku ni arimasu. And it's the home there Philip the Great came from. Anybody heard of Philip the Great? So there wa Philip dai o wa Macedonia kara. のことも歴史にあります。あまり聞いていないですね。多分フィリップ大王の息子のこと聞いたことがあるかもしれません。アレクサンダー大王。アレクサンダー大王聞いたことがありますか。はい。かなり有名でしょう。そのアレクサンダー大王の軍の子はインドまで届いていましたね。So you may not know Philip the Great, but you probably know, have heard of Alexander the Great, which was Philip's son. And uh, he, with his armies, went all the way to the edge of India, at least, we know from history. And Alexandria, of course, is the most famous. 
But the city of Philippi is named after the father. Uh, Philip the Great established the city and named it after himself. So Paul heads for Macedonia and Philippi is a town there in the city. So Paul and his group of fellow missionary travelers, it says in Acts 16.12, from there, we traveled to Philippi, a Roman colony in the leading city of that district of Macedonia, and we stayed there several days. So they get to Philippi, and they begin their activities. So where is Philippi? Philippi wa doko ni aru de shouka, jitsu wa. Osaka kara kyori wa dono gurai aru de shouka, dou moimasu ka? How far do you think Philippi is from Osaka? Maybe. Any guesses? Nobody wants to guess. Ja. Kyusen kilo. Kyusen kilo gurai desu. Hai. Osaka kara Filipi made. Chokusetsu itara kyusen kilo gurai desu ne. Chokubin wa nai desu kedo ne. It's uh, 9,000 kilometers from Osaka to Philippi if you could go directly, but of course there's no direct flight, so you'd have to take several turns along the way. Um, but if you go there, and uh, it's the northern part of Greece, Greece no Hokumi ni aru, kono Filipino mo mukashi no machi no isaki mo taksan arimasu. Koko gaksha tachi no okage de watashi tachi wa Filipi no rekishi. And we know the details of the history of Philippi very well because archaeologists have dug it all up and you can see a lot of the ruins of Philippi if you go there. And my wife and I, two years ago, we did a, a tour of uh, Turkey and Greece and we also went to Philippi. So here's the central part of the city, Korewa Machi no Chubu. And this uh, theater at Philippi is actually, you know, even from the time all the way back to uh, Philip the Great. So it's very, very old. And you can imagine that Paul was probably uh, at this theater a number of times when he was in Philippi, we can imagine. <laughs> so let's take a look at the letter, a little bit about the letter. The letter to the Philippines, it's written by the Apostle Paul. It's written in about 62 AD, about maybe 12 years after he went to the city the first time in 50 AD. And it's often called the Epistle of Joy. Yoku uh, is, and we, it's called the Epistle of Joy even though he's actually in prison uh, when he writes it, which is really amazing that Paul had this great joy even in prison as he prayed for and thought about the church in Philippi. Paulo wa mo Filippi no kyokai o kagaete jitsu wa Roma no roya ni itotoki deshita. Demo sono
もちろんポールの召喚,召喚のものですねポールのものですじゃあ少し読みましょう Let's jump in and read some of it 一章一節からクリストイエスのしもべであるポールとテモテからフィリピにいてクリストイエスに結ばれているすべての聖なる者たち並びに監督たちと奉仕者たちへ、so, これは挨拶の文ですね最初は And Paul has a greeting first in、uh, verse 1 Paul and Timothy servants of Christ Jesus to all the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi together with the overseers and deacons Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. Taz Tachi no Chichi de Aru Kame to Shu Yes Christo Karno Migumi to Heiwa ga Anata Gata ni Aru Yoni. Watashi wa Anata Gata no Koto Omoe Okosu Tabi ni Watashi no Kame ni Kansha Shi. Anata Gata Ichido no Tame ni Inoru Tabi ni Itsmo Yorokobi o Motte いますそれはあなた方が最初の日から今日まで福音に預かっているからです。アーメン。And we read up to verse 5 In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. これは素晴らしい挨拶と祈りの言葉は。Uh, kaki dashi ni arimasu. So there's a wonderful word of greeting and, and prayer there at the very beginning of the letter. But what does he mean by from the first day? Tomo poru wa saishu no hi kara to kakare te koto wa nani o kangaite de shoka, sono koto ba utsukatta ra. What do you think he was thinking about when he wrote from the first day? Anybody want to guess? What would Paul have been thinking about when he said from the first day in Philippi, Philippi ni iru. いてから最初の日から何か思い浮かぶものありますかはい、お願いします。はい、はい、ありがとうございます。<笑>素晴らしい、uh, 思いですね。感謝です。So,、uh, he's probably thinking of Lydia. Well,、uh, if we say specifically, probably Lydia he's thinking of. That, like you said, you know, from first day. You <laughs> told me, もう最初の日から聞いてくれた人と言いますけど、彼は、ポールはもう伝道に、Uh, 川岸の方に行って、伝道していて、それは大体ポールは最初に、uh, ユダヤ教の街道に行きました。新しい町に入るたびに、でもそこにはその街道はありませんでしたので、祈りの場があると聞いて、川岸の方、uh, そこに行きました。So Paul, usually when he went to a new city, he went first to the Jewish synagogue, but there wasn't one in Philippi. So he heard that there was a place of prayer down by the river and he went down there and there he met Lydia. Now Lydia was born in the city of Thyatira and she became the first believer in Philippi when she heard Paul's message about the gospel of Jesus Christ, she believed. Lydia wa mo tia tira si de umarita jose de stikiri de mo, Paul no fukuin, she is no fukuin. の言葉を聞いて、すぐ信じて、uh, もうその町、フィリピンの最初の信者になりました。また、聖書の記録の中で、ヨーロッパの最初の信者ですね。そのマカドニアはグリシの北部で、もうヨーロッパに入って、もう初めて、uh, ヨーロッパの人はシエスを信じて、もう聖書の記録で、他にも、いたはずですけれども、記録されていないですね。So she's the first believer probably not only in Philippi but also in Europe as far as the、uh, record in the Bible. There probably actually were others ahead of her in Europe、uh, but it's not recorded in the Bible. そのリリアは家族と一緒にバプテスマを受けました。そしてポーノ
ポールを自分の家に歓迎してその家は後に教会になったそうです。And she,、uh, after she got baptized with her household and stuff, she welcomed Paul into her home,、uh, which afterwards became a church. ポールを家に歓迎したとありますけれども、実はポールは一人でその上空にしていたわけではない。小さいのチームの中、uh, ポールもそれをリードして、それはリディアはその全部チームのみんなを歓迎したでしょう。And it says, you know, here welcomed Paul into her home, but actually Paul wasn't alone. He was with a, a team of、uh, missionaries, so to speak,、uh, together. So Lydia is welcoming them all into her home. So Lydia のことをもう使徒十六章から少し読みましょう。Let's take a look at Acts 16 and learn just a little bit about Lydia. Acts 16:13. And this is in your、uh, bulletin. これはこの手法に載せられています。On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the river, where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the women who had gathered there. あんそくびに町の門を出て、祈りの場所があると思われる川岸に行った。そして私たちもそこに座って集まっていた夫人たちに話をした。ティアティリシー出身の紫布を飽きなう人で、髪をあがめるリリアという夫人も話を聞いていたが、主が彼女の心を開かれたので、彼女はポールの話を注意深く聞いた。One of those listening was a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. これは紫布を飽きなう人とありますね。もう紫布はかなり高価な高級品のものでしてね。それはもう詳しく説明しない今度ですけれども。すごく立派なもので、値段がすごく高かったでしょう。<笑>それで、このリリアはそれを飽きなっているので、裕福の夫人でも考えられます。And this purple cloth that Lydia is selling, you know, it was an extremely valuable luxury item. And we could say a lot more about that, we won't today.、Uh, but if she is a dealer of this、uh, very expensive luxury good type of thing, She's probably actually a very prosperous, maybe wealthy woman. When she and the members of her household were baptized, she invited us to her home. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, she said, Come and stay at my house. And she persuaded us. So, she said, その時私が主を信じるものだと思いでしたらどうぞ私の家に来てお泊まりくださいと言って私たちを招待し無理に承知させたもうそれは素晴らしい言葉ですね聞いてください無理に承知させた<笑>誰かを誘って無理に承知させたことありますか<笑> In the end, it says she persuaded us. It's a very strong word.、Uh, at first, they were maybe a little hesitant, but、uh, very strong word. She persuaded them. Have you ever persuaded somebody to accept your invitation when they were reluctant? No? <laughs> Sometimes it's the right thing to do. たまに正しいことですね。人は遠慮がちです。いいえという時は無理やりに。無理に。<笑>承知させたら<笑>でもその本音がわからないと失礼になるかもしれませんので気をつけましょう。<笑> Sometimes it's a good thing to, to just kind of really persuade somebody to go when they're trying to be hesitant or, or stuff, but you, you have to know what's in their heart, whether they really want to or not, otherwise it might be rude. それでこのリリアという人はおもてなしのためのもって裕福な女性と考えられます。We can imagine that Lydia then is a, probably a wealthy woman with a gift of hospitality. 
リリオは私たちのためにも良い見本となります。素晴らしい女性でした。And Lydia is really a good example for all of us. She was really a very, a very wonderful woman. フィリピンに行ってみたら、このリリアの住んでいる場という建物もありますね。教会みたいですでも、日曜礼拝はありません。いろいろ教会は住んでいるために使っているそうです。And if you go there, you can see something to Philippi. You can see St. Lydia's Baptistry. And it's,、uh, it looks like a church, but they don't actually have a Sunday worship there, I don't think. I think just various churches use it for baptism ceremonies and stuff. And it's also sort of a, a museum and memorial to Paul's、uh, work in Philippi and to Lydia. Mata choto kinin no tatemono de dirito Paul no senkyo katsudo. Uh, 覚えるための博物館のようなところでも言えるでしょう。入ってみたら、if we go in, you can see beautiful paintings on the walls and on the ceiling. It's, it's really a very beautiful place. これは実はとても美しいところです。入ってみたら、その壁にも天井にも素晴らしい絵画が描かれあ,あります。そしてその絵画は、ポールはもうその地方に来た歴史のことを示されています。And in the paintings are just showing the history of when Paul came to that area and the work that he was doing there. And it's really very beautiful and wonderful. ぜひ行ってみてください。Definitely go see Philippi. It's really, really nice. It's a beautiful place. その絵画を少し分かちますけれども、分けますけれども、これはポールはヨーロッパに到着の、uh, 風景ですね。I'll share just a couple of the paintings there, but this is、uh, Paul's arrival in Europe、uh, with his little group of、uh, fellow evangelists. ポールとその一緒にいた伝道者たちのグループですね。Uh, とちなみに、uh, ルークも、ルカもそこに入ったはずです。シトの働きの作者であるルークもそのグループの一人だったでしょう。あとでその歌詞を読んだら、私たちと何度も出てきますので、ルークとポールと他の人も。And probably、uh, we know that、uh, Luke, the author of the book of Acts, is also in that group there with Paul,、uh, because as we read the story of what happens in Philippi,、uh, he says over again, and we, and we did this. So that would be Paul and Luke and the other people with him. これはリリアと家族の宣伝の風景ですね。Uh, this one shows the, the scene, you know, where you have、uh, Paul、uh, baptizing Lydia and her family at the river, 川岸で川に行、uh, ったでしょう。And その宣伝のところと言ったら記念のところがありますね。Uh, これは伝統によるとこの場でリリアは家族と一緒に住んでを受けたそうです。Uh, もちろんその当時はこの十字架系の洗礼場はできていなかったただの川でした。Of course,、uh, at the time it was just a river. There wasn't this cross-shaped、uh, sin baptism place there. But this is according to tradition where Lydia and her family received baptism is right here. And still today, Uh, I understand that many people get baptized here. They want to get baptized in the same place、uh, among the Greek people. So, the Greek people are going to be in the same place. They are going to be in the same p o k a y let's look a little bit more here to verse 6. Let's look at verse 6. Let's look at verse 6. キリストイエスの日までにその技を成し遂げてくださると私たちは確信しています。Philippians 1:6 Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This is one of my very favorite Bible verses. これは私の好きな聖句の一つです。この聖句が大好きです、私。素晴らしい約束の言葉です。It's just a wonderful promise. And of course, this promise is originally given to the Philippian church. もともとはこの約束はフィリピンの教会に、uh, 
語られて約束ですけれども私たちも個人的でも教会町にもこれを適用ができると思います。Originally it's given to the Philippian church, but I think really we can apply this to ourselves individually to the church and the city here as well, as well because the heart of God does not change. 神様の心は変わることはないですから私たちもこの約束をいただいてもいいと思います。So I think it's okay for us to receive this. And it, so it talks about, you know, confidence that he who began the good work will complete it. これは、自身のもって、良い技を始められた方が、それを完成する約束です。完成させる約束ですね。So we can trust in Jesus for our individual salvation. 個人の救いのために、死を信頼する。We can trust in Jesus to finish the work that He begins in our life by bringing us to holiness and completion in heaven. So, and for this church. And the church as a whole, worldwide, and for our city, we can trust in Jesus. Mata Osakashi, Zentai Teki no Koto, Mati Zentai Teki no Koto, Kako Kyokai no Koto, Sekai no Kyokai, Kono Abide no Kyokai ni mo, Watashi tachi wa, Dari o Shinai shimasu ka? Nete imashita, Neti desu ka? Dari o Shinai shimasu ka? これが小さい。誰を信頼しますか<笑> ?One more time. Jesus! イエスを信じますね。Who do we trust? We trust Jesus for all these things. Amen. Amen. 感謝です。ありがとうございます。<笑> Thank you. So, このフィリピンの教会の歴史のことは、313年頃、この各形、すみません。八角形の教会の建物が建設されたようですね。And about、uh, 313 AD in Philippi, they built this octagon shaped church, the octagon church it's called. かなり広い教会です、実は。It's actually pretty big, so there were already a lot of believers in the city. もう、信者はたくさんいてでしょう、これができたら。And why did they wait so long to build a church building? どうしてもう313年まで教会を建てるために待ったでしょうかその建物。迫害でしてね。ローマ帝国でそのクリスト教は312年まで禁じられていました。それはもう許されてと聞いてすぐ教会の建物をしようと。したですね、あと1年できました。そのみたいですね。So they, they didn't build it earlier because in the Roman Empire, Christianity was forbidden and it was persecuted, so they couldn't build a building. But as soon as it was allowed to be a Christian,、uh, they got together and immediately built a church. So it became、uh, legal or permitted to do that in 312 AD, and the very next year they had their church building. So,、uh, so no. Uh, 八角形の教会、これも、uh, その遺跡ですね。半分はその屋根の下、半分は外ですね。This also is that same octagonal church building. Half of it is under a roof, you know, to allow the archaeologists to continue working, and the other half is out in the open. So, 屋根の、uh, ことは、考古学者はその発掘を続いていますから、そこで。So, but After a while, it was too small. でもあと少しはもう小さいすぎるとなってもっと広い素晴らしいリップの教科が建てられた500年頃ですね。So about 500 AD, they, they built a really big church、uh, because the other one was too small anymore. So they f i l i p i n o Christo、uh, Christian のことはすごく Uh, ね、この教会でできてから、uh, あと900年ぐらい、その教会が建てられたんですね。Uh, so, uh, 
その町は廃棄されましたので、みんなは別いろいろ町に行きましたので、それで行ったら、もうこのポールは開拓したフィリピンの教会は1400年間ぐらい盛んでしたね。素晴らしい働きでした。そしてそれはもう、あ滅ぼされてと言っても、その後はその信者たちはいろいろところに行って、福音の活動を続いたでしょう。So, this church was destroyed about、uh, the 1400 or so, 14th century,、uh, along with the entire town. So, from the time that Paul came to Philippi, there was about 1400 years almost that the church thrived in Philippi. And then, even if the church is destroyed, you know, it's not like it, it failed or something because the believers go on to other places and continue sharing. So, 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 当然です。というのは、監禁されている時も、復員を弁明し、立証する時も、あなた方一度のことを、共に恵みに預かるものと思って、心に留めているからです。アーメン。Verse 7, Philippians 1. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. Let's go on to verse 11. We'll continue and read 7 to 11. Now, let's go to the Jew. 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 Let's go to God can testify how I long for you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Watashi wa ko inorimas. Shiru chikara to minuku chikara to o minitsukete anatagata no ai ga masu masu yutake ni nari. Hantoni juyo no koto o mi wake dare ru yo ni. そしてクリストの日に備えて、清いもの、とがめられるところのないものとなり、そしてユメイビエブルトディスーン、ワディスベスト、エンメイビーピュー、エンブレームス、エンテルディデイオフクリスト。フィルドウィッドフルトゥリチュースネスティコムスティジーズクリスト、トゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥアフデルホルニウキテ、カミノエコトホマレトオ、タタイルコトガディキリオニ。これは素晴らしい箇所です。まあ、フィリピンの神道の手紙、全部は素晴らしい書物です。大好きです。This is a, a wonderful passage, but really all of the letter of the Philippines is really wonderful. I, I really love this letter. So, これはキーワードですね。何節から11節までのキーワードを少し見てみましょう。Uh, in my heart. So Paul has them in his heart. Paul はその教会のことをここに留めているんですね。So, you know, do you have people in your heart? ご自分の心の中にいろいろ人々を留めているでしょうかいるでしょう。違いはないでしょう。誰でも愛する人あると思います。I think everybody has somebody they love, so we all have people we love. He loves them with the affection of Christ. The love of Christ is another translation. Christ の愛の心でそのフィリピンの人を愛しているのです。なたがの愛がますます豊かになると祈っています。And he prays that your love may abound more and more. 私たちはシエスと共に歩んでいく間にもうあその愛。はますます私たちの心に溢れ出るつつのことで私たちはシエスの見姿と同じようになります。もうかなり時間がかかります。私はすごく遅いです。頑固のもので問題が多いです。でも
その約束があるので私も完成させていただくでしょう。あ違いはないですね。So, as we, as we walk with Christ and we walk with Jesus, you know, His love grows in our hearts so that more and more we become like Jesus. Now, I'm really slow. Uh, so I'm stubborn, I'm difficult, I have lots of problems, so it takes me a long time to make any progress. But I have that promise of God that He will finish the work in me. So I have confidence, not in myself, but in Christ Jesus. I trust Him. Until the day of Christ, Christo no hi marini. Now, this is very important for us to remember that we will all meet Jesus. I think, you know, a lot of us, maybe nearly all of us here, have already met with Christ spiritually, but we'll meet Him face to face. But we'll meet him face to face, and we really have to think about, you know, when we meet Jesus face to face, will we meet him with great joy, or, or will we be hiding our face in shame at our failures and our, our mistakes? So now, Christo no, Christo to kao awase ga dekiru toki ni, tashitachi wa kagairu beki nano wa, ちゃんと大きな喜びを持って、キリストと顔合わせができるか、それとも恥を覚えて顔を隠すことになりますか。それは私たちは自分の生活を反省して考えるのですね。私も日常生活のこととかいろいろ反省する必要があると思います。ちゃんと多くの喜びでイエスとの顔合わせができますように自分の努力よりではなくてキリストの恵みによってできると思います。And you know, I have to reflect on a lot of things in, in my life and stuff over and over again and say, you know, I need to walk with Jesus so I can meet him with joy and not be uh, embarrassed or ashamed at myself. Uh, but I don't trust in my own strength for that. I trust in Jesus. For that, that he will finish what he's begun in me. So that he no me o motte. So that's a very good word to tell you. Ma, mimi ni narete nai good word to tell you. Ma, amari kiku good word nai kamo shimsen. No, he no me. Tadashi mono wa superashi mi o musubu to ikoto des. So that wa Kristo no ai ni yotte. And the fruit of righteousness that that we receive from Christ Jesus in our lives. By walking with him, and I think that's a beautiful word, fruit of righteousness. It, it's not something we hear a lot, you know, in daily life, but it's the righteousness of Christ will bring that fruit in our lives uh, to the glory and praise of God. Kamino e koto homare koto ni narimasu yoni. Kono tegami wa totto mo suburashi mono de mo konban de mo ashite de mo mata kono Filipino shintoi no tegami isho isetsu kara ji isetsu. 一人で読んでよく見たらもう得になると思います。祝福となると確信しています。It's a wonderful letter of Philippians, and tonight or tomorrow morning, I encourage you to read verses 1 through 11 in chapter 1 again and reflect on it, meditate on it. And I think that it'll be profitable for you, it'll be a blessing for you. So I encourage you to take the time to do that. Let's close with this special verse. Katoku Metsu no Seiko Moikai Yonde, Kyo no message o oidai desne. Anato gato no naka de yoi waza o hajime dare te kata ga Kristo Yesu no himade ni sono waza o nashi togete kudusareto watashi wa kakushin shite imasu. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. So let's pray. Oi no rishimas. Yes, Christ no chichinaru kami sama. 
このフィリピンの神徒への手紙は素晴らしい歌詞の手紙であって素晴らしい励ましとなりますどうか私たちは一人一人を一人一人があなたと共に歩むものとなりますように精霊を注いで一人一人見ておいて祝福してくださいここに集積した方々は一人一人はもう心に良い技が始められてと確信していますその技は完成させてください一日一日であなたと親しい関係を持ってあなたの名を呼びかけ祈って聖書も読むことができますように私たち一人一人がシエスを信じてシエスを信頼してこのように歩むことができますように彼ら死んでいる人にその喜びを苦しんでいる人もいますけれどもその人にあなたの癒しの手を伸ばしてください寂しい人もいますがその人にあなたのご臨在ください共にいてくださいそして周りに新しい兄弟姉妹も備えてくださいこの教会を祝福してこの場であなたが良い技を始められたことをしていますから完成させてくださいあなたの栄光のためにあなたの皆を褒めてたいますシースの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。